Without knowing it, kids are the best comedians. James was hanging out with his six-year-old daughter when she said, Dad, why do bad guys always try to take over? James replied, because they want to be in charge and make all the rules. And the girl thought about that and said, then why don't they become mums? Hey! <laughs> Here are more comedic moments with children. Lisa's kids, ages five and six, were talking. The younger one asked, what's a humanitarian? The other responded, it's like a vegetarian, but they eat humans. Reminds me of the cannibal that stopped eating clowns because, uh, well, they tasted funny. <laughs> when Tara was pregnant, she asked her little guy, do you want the baby to be a girl or a boy? Her son replied, I want the baby to be Batman. <laughs> ah, what a little joker. Rob says, my seven-year-old wrote a letter to the tooth fairy. He has no loose teeth and hasn't lost a tooth yet. He just wanted to introduce himself. Haley overheard this conversation between second grade boys. Do you think he'll ever fall in love? I don't know. I think if she likes pancakes, then probably. <laughs> my wife makes great pancakes and uh, so I feel in love. David and his six-year-old daughter were listening to a song. What's he singing about, Daddy? She asked. He's saying that nothing in life is permanent, David answered. She said, but markers are permanent. Well, she had a fine point there. Okay, that was bad. Even the most hardened adult can't help but smile when a little child prays. One morning, Celeste took her three children to a diner for breakfast. It was one of those old-fashioned eateries where you sit and dine at the counter. On this morning, it was particularly crowded and they were forced to take separate seats. Eight-year-old Mary was seated several stools away from her mother and when her food was served, she called to her mother in a loud voice, Mom, don't people say grace in this place? A sudden hush fell over the diner, and before Celeste could figure out what to say, the server said, Yes, we do, sister. You say it. All the people in that place bowed their heads. Mary did, too. Then, in a clear voice, she said, God is great, God is good, and we thank him for this food. Amen. Not surprisingly, smiles broke out all over that diner. I love the innocent faith of a child. I love the way they live in wonder at bugs and snow and the taste of a pickle. I love their questions about the moon and the stars and their laughter in the presence of a puppy or a kitten. It's like they're saying, please, not so serious. Loosen up. Nobody gets out of here alive, you know. So let's lighten up and look up. <sighs> it isn't until we get older that we learn to keep our heads down and our mouths shut. Of course, this isn't always a bad thing. We shouldn't always say what we're thinking, but we could all use a daily injection of kiddish innocence, of childlike faith, in a loving God who so obviously created these wonders around us. In Matthew 18, Jesus called a little kid over, then turned to the bewildered adults and said, I tell you the truth, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Jesus calls us today to be like children. Surely this involves being humble, vulnerable, dependent, and seeking. I think it involves smiling, laughing, playing, and trusting our daddy. That's right! My favorite quote from a child lately was from grandson Ezra, who is three. He came up to his mommy, folded his hands, and prayed with his eyes wide open, Dear Jesus, please put a roof on my heart and live in it. Thank you for forgiving me. I love you. My heart won't break again now. God bless you, my little Ezra, and all you children out there, young and old. Hey, thanks a bunch for watching. I hope it was appealing to you. Don't be like a banana. Don't be crooked and hanging out in bunches now. Thanks for subscribing too. Would you just push that button? You won't believe what happens. You know what will happen? You'll be subscribed. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>